Well, we came here for our problems. South, south, we have problems. We came, and uh, we came and saw him. He's a courageous leader and God-fearing. Nigerians, we have hope. There's hope for Nigeria. Yes. Okay, what, what are those things you want the president to uh, focus on now well, to the facilitate the will, uh, He's in a position to tell you. But all what I know, the east-west road is very important. And not only that, when we talk of Bayasa, there's no single federal road. And I see this opportunity to appeal to the president to take up the three senatorial roads in Bayasa State. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you have brought some uh, requests to the president, uh, like I'm aware. Like, w what are those things that you want the president to do for the South-South uh, zone? If we begin to number them, they'll they get back to South-South. <laughs> yeah, actually, we're very grateful to Mr. President for the audience. Um, this forum is a very organized forum, uh, representing all the monarchs from the region. Our problems are too many. We are undoubtedly the 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 golden the 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 the, the fowl that lays the golden egg, and then we are still suffering. And uh, we have come to talk to somebody we believe is a listening president. From the action he has taken from day one, it shows that he knows where Nigeria should be. And uh, our problems are all itemized there, from the east-west road to revamping of the ports, to the uh, looking into the issue of uh, security in the area, oil, the state of the oil, then the, the, the discrepancy, really, that was you know, the most important, the discrepancy in exploitation of the oil and other solid mineral. This is the time for him to look into it for us. It's very, very critical because that's what keeps Nigeria going money. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Oha Sergeant Chidi Awuse, the paramount ruler of Emoha Kingdom in River State. Thank you very much. Thank you so much uh, for your time, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, what um, um, was be behind your visit to the president? Okay, we are members of the South South Mona Forum. I happen to be the vice uh, chairman. Our chairman is uh, King Dakoro. It's believed that is why it's not here today. We come to our president, our listening president, with a catalog of our request from the region. In the region, it's like uh, we produce, we 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 bring real resources for this country, and yet we suffer. It is it is it a plenty. So we just have to catalog of our. Uh, sufferings and what we want the president to do for us so that uh, we can feel that we are part of this country. So what did he tell you, sir? Oh, the president said uh, he, will listen, he will look at our request and uh, he will do the needful. Uh, there are a lot of things like we said he should do for us, like the east-west road we have been abandoned for so many years, and most of the road in the south-south we cannot have access to Abuja. From Parakot, Taba, it's impossible. From uh, Pini to Rumi to Kenya, it's impossible. And uh, we feel that uh, we also said that he should try and link up the uh, Tekbe, Tekbe to Abuja railway so that uh, right from Wari, we can see, instead of going by road, we can straight, straight drive to, to Abuja. And we talk of abandoned ports. And we feel that if those ports are, are revived, there will be a, a plenty for our people, and it will improve the economy of this country. Thank you, sir. Your name, sir? My name is Major General Felix Mujakbeiro, retired CFRMNI. The Roger of Fukwe Kingdom and Chairman Data Seekers of Traditional Ruler. Yes, thank you very much. Honorable so Minister, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, you brought uh, your people here today to visit the president. Uh, how do you describe the outcome of the meeting? Well, for me, it's a very successful meeting. And uh, I'm happy that uh, they, they've been able to make it because for quite a long time it has not been possible, but today they've been able to speak with Mr. President. And I'm also very much appreciative of the response of Mr. President, who has also 
promise to look critically into their requests. Of course, this kind of dialogue is necessary because these are the people that are helping me to maintain peace in the South South uh, region. The moment they are peace with me, I think there will be peace. There will be more oil, more money for Nigeria. I think uh, the door should be open to people like this because they are the custodian of the peace of the Niger Delta area. So I'm quite happy with what has happened today, which is I can regard as a, of a, as a huge success. Okay, Honorable Minister, the President is looking toward um, having better peace in the Niger Delta and again fighting oil theft. So do you think this can serve it? Okay, well, in to that, sir, how would this visit strengthen the fight against the oil theft? Yeah, these are the owners of the region. At least the more you engage them, they will talk to uh, to the youth. They will talk to the, uh, those people who are involved. But when you keep them away, it becomes a problem because they will not really have that sense of belonging, of continuing to talk to the people. And above all, it's also to look at the infrastructure of the region. What's the infrastructure of the region have been taken care of? I don't think uh, there will be uh, as much problem to go into uh, vandalization. And beside the infrastructure, when we engage the youth in entrepreneurship training and the rest of them, I think it can also stem down uh, the wave of theft. But generally, I think uh, we may also carry out a sort of kind of heuristic examination of what we even call oil theft in Nigeria, where there is not even a kind of professional study from even the people who are able uh, producing the oil, because if you if, if there's no vandalization and you keep on talking of oil theft. I think I got to a point where, of course, government will also look critically into this so-called oil theft, whether it's really oil theft or those people who are in charge are the ones stealing the oil and give it a different name, believing that is the use of the region. Because I understand that even at the point of uh, loading uh, overseas and the rest of them, they can uh, reduce the figure at the end of the day, we think that uh, the, the, the oil is stunning. So I think this is an area that government will also look at in due course. Thank you very much.